Okay, we're going to pick up right where we left off. Um, I showed you guys the main screen. I uh, tried to give you a little bit of an idea of how that looked, um, what you could do there. Simplistic. It's it's not hard. But now we're going to go into the meats and potatoes of Minecraft. So let's go to play. Um, I'm going to create a new world. I don't have any worlds on Windows 10 yet. Uh, so we're going to create a new world. Uh, you can generate random worlds if you want to. Um, da -da 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 -da. We're just going to do... Oh, they have a lot of stuff. Um, we're going to generate a random, I think. I want to do the redstone mansion, but we will do that later. So let's just generate random, okay? Okay, so basically what's going to happen is you have options here. Uh, we're going to call this world... Um, uh, hold on. Let's see. T-U-T-O... Tutorial. Let's just call it Tutorial Island, just to just to give reference. Um, and my typing is atrocious, so please be warned. Um, if I type things, it's, I'm not meaning to. Um, let's see. We're gonna do survival. You could do uh, survival or creative. Creative gives you all the blocks. You have everything. There's no. There's nothing that attacks you. It's just basically a way of playing. Um, just serenity, basically. The, it's a serene version of it without any hassle. You just kind of, just kind of create. That's what it is. Survival. You're gonna have stuff that comes at you. And now difficulty. You can do peaceful, which turns off all, which turns off all the uh, mobs. Um, so no creepers, no spiders, no endermen, and nothing. You can do easy, which gives you a certain amount of them, but not a whole bunch. Normal just gives you the normal set amount that you would have, and hard gives you a ton. Um, we are going to keep it at normal for this. Um, you, okay, so these are a couple good uh, reference, uh, preferences that you might want to set. I always set these. Starting map. Um, this allows you to start with a map, a full map, I think. It, 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 I could be wrong, um, but I'm pretty sure that's what that does. I think it lets you start with a, a, uh, a, a full map. Um, and bonus chest allows you to start with a chest that will have certain items in it that you can start with, like uh, coal. Um, it may have some, I, I don't know, some wood, uh, an axe, a pickaxe, um, stuff like that. So that helps you. Trust players. You can turn this off if you want to, or you can turn it on. Uh, basically what this is, is this allows you to trust players so they can just come in, they can do whatever they want to. You know, go nuts. If you turn that off, you have to basically go through and set up uh, things about them and you can go in and give them options. So basically how it goes. Uh, this is something new. I don't know what this is. I'm going to do member. I have no idea what that is. World type, we're going to do infinite. Um, you could do flat, which means there's no, there will be no hills, no nothing, just straight up flatness. Or you can do old, and the old type is just a shorter, smaller version of the map. I'd never activate cheats. Um, you can activate cheats so you can, of course, cheat. Um, now, some of these, I think... Yeah, and it also kills your achievements, if you can see that. Um, these are other options that I think, once you turn off... No, I think you have to, I think you have to change this. Um, you can give, you can change some of these usually, but apparently I can't right now. So let me get a game, um, over here and see what's going on. And then we have multiplayer, which, um, it allows you to play with friends. Um, your Xbox live setting, friends of friends, um, multiplayer game, um, stuff like that. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to like, we're just going to play just us so we can get an idea. And I'm really not sure why it's not giving me these options. Hmm. And that might be something in those settings. I, I've, they've changed a little bit of this, and I'm not really sure how to how to go about telling you what these are. Um, on the Xbox One version is also what I play. I, I've played more than anything at the 360 version. Um, and these were set up by me. 
um, I could change these so that people couldn't do them. But you know what? Maybe what it is, is maybe that's only available on multiplayer. But anyway, we're not going to worry about these. But if you did, um, what these would do is this would make it always day. It would never be night, which just kind of defeats the purpose of playing a game. Um, the do daylight sa cycle would allow you to daylight cycle. Uh, fire spreads. That, uh, you can turn that off so whenever you set something on fire, it just doesn't spread like crazy. Um, TNT explodes. You can turn that off so people can't blow up your stuff. Um, that does happen sometimes, trust me. Um, this one uh, will allow you to keep your inventory if you fall or die. Um, it's whatever's in your inventory. Anything else is lost. Uh, mob spawning. That is basically mobs spawning. Uh, mobs are... Um, are like the creeper and stuff like that. And I'll show you some of those. Uh, uh, zombies, stuff like that. Natural regeneration just means that it regenerates naturally. Uh, mob loot and mob griefing. It's just all loot that they drop. Um, I've never changed these. Um, yeah, entities drop loot. And then weather cycle, you can turn the weather cycle off. The, they changed the weather. It's a little bit different. It's kind of nice. Um, it looks very interesting. The, th the thunderstorms in this are, are pretty kind, are pretty fantastic. Um, okay, so basically that's it. That's setting up on Windows 10 um, a world. So we're going to do Tutorial Island, which is what we're going to do. All right, we're going to create it, and it is going to generate it for us. Um, I am going to go and use Enderman Hate Bath Time. Um, I'm going to do, um, I'm going to use a Xbox controller, because I have an xbox one controller if you have an xbox one or 360 you can absolutely use a controller um this should always spawn close to you um let's see you can on the controller you can hit y um to bring everything out and then uh, whatever's that is your main inventory down below um all this is in your secondary you keep this if you die. You lose this if you if you do if you die. So uh, basically, what we're gonna do the first day, um, if you've ever heard anybody ever talk about this, we're gonna punch trees. It's the best way to go. Or since I have a chest, we're gonna get trees down with an axe. But basically, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go and get some wood. Um, the little icon that you just saw that saw that came up on the screen that means it's saved. You could do either type of woods. Um, this, there are like four or five different types of woods in this game. Um, I usually use this as my base for my houses, um, and then get some of the other for flooring and stuff like that. Um, I do try to, I do tend to make uh, crazy like big houses, um, especially if I'm gonna have people play with me, um, like friends, stuff like that, so they'll have places to sleep. Um, it, it's it's a fun little game. So basically, you go grab this. You're gonna want to grab definitely some wood. Um, the other thing you could do if you want to is um, if you want to grab a different type. So let's go then. Let's go here. Grab this. I'll explain to you why. And as you can see, if you look at the axe, there's a little bar and it's going down. That axe is actually going to break whenever that little bar goes all the way down. That means my axe will break and I will no longer have it. So um, you got to be really careful about that. Um, it's always good to have spares. The chest does not give you extras. You have to make them on your own. I will teach you how to do that. So basically, we're going to cut down trees. Let's cut down one more of this type. I, I can't, I'll tell you the types here shortly. I cannot remember what they are. For some weird reason, I'm having... Uh, block like crazy. Okay, so. Ah, oh, they have changed. Wow, they have changed how everything is set up. Okay, so spruce. I got spruce and oak. And akai, but there was no akai, akai there. Okay, so I mean, I got birch. Birch was the white, and oak was the other one that I got. So let's go. Um, these right here are little trees that are falling. There's a sheep. It scares the crap out of me. Um, basically, what those do is you can replant trees. And I'll show you that here in just a couple seconds. We're going to go over... Is it a village? Um, there are places already 
built. They're called villages. Um, I thought maybe that was one, but it's not. We're just going to, for the time being, we're just going to build a house here. Okay, so what I'd like to do is I like to map out things. So um, that's not a good thing to do, by the way, because it actually uses your... Okay, so what I do is I go... If I'm going to do this, I either get a shovel, which I'll show you how to do, or I just use just a random block of wood or something. Let's see, that's four. I always count out stuff. Five six all right we'll do six for now let's see that's three four three that's one two three four five six we'll do that for now okay and this is gonna be the length of our house that's what this is gonna be so this is gonna be our house i'm gonna dig all this out um you want to do windows and doors just like any, just like a normal house. Um, the windows are a little bit different. Um, we have to get sand and we have to smelt them, which I will show you how to do that. And we're also going to have to get some uh, some cobblestone to make a furnace. And I don't know if it gave us one or not. And I don't, I don't think it did, but I'll check. I'm not really sure how I feel about this, this inventory thing over here. It drives me nuts. Um, they did not. Okay, so um, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit, we're gonna change this and put this down here because that is not important to us right now. Um, that's cactus. You can use it as a die. Uh, let's see. That is a swampy area. Okay, that's a swamp. What I'm looking for is this. That right there is cobblestone. This is cobblestone. Um, you got to be careful about places like this in caves. Um, there are sp things that could be in this, like zombies, uh, spiders, bats, stuff like that. You want to be cautious whenever you're doing this. Um, I'm going to grab just enough right now so I can make a furnace so that we can smelt stuff. Um, and I'm kind of low level and I don't have a sword right now. So if something does come after me, I'm just going to try to, I'm going to run away from it. So... And don't ever use your pickaxe for that. This is not what I meant to do, but it's the only way I could do it. So, okay, so that is that was a <laughs> that was a skeleton somewhere shooting at me, and I'm not sure where. Um, skeletons can't be out in the daylight; um, they actually burn up. I'm trying to figure out how to do their new construction system. Oh, okay, so this is, okay, wow, they've changed this a lot. Okay, so uh, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to do a crafting table, uh, which we have now. So, and I probably have, um, crafting tables are going to allow us to make things. So I'm going to actually make the crafting table part of our floor. I'll explain why soon. That's not where I wanted to put that, actually. I want it to come over a little bit because that's going to be uh, a part of the... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so there's that. It's going to be part of the wall. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in here. Um, we have birch. We have thir 30 of those, so let's do those first. Okay, so crafting them all. Okay, so that tells me basically what I could do, how I craft them. I'm not used to this crafting system, guys. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get my, I'm trying to get my bearings, but I'm not really getting it yet. Um, there's an easy crafting system they're adding in, so it's compatible with all with all of them, and I'm not really getting it. I just, I don't get it. I guess I will, um, I guess I'll get it as I go. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just basically building a floor. And I might not have enough wood, so we might have to go get some more. Uh, I think you could hit, I think you could do a quick move. I think it's a quick move. Um, I don't know why I'm doing this so weirdly. Okay, let's go ahead and start building uh, a, a wall around it. Um, we're going to have our door go... Um, we actually should have it go probably that way. So what we'll do is I'll show you... I, I, I would have normally built the door in, but I didn't know which way I wanted to go with it first. Uh, wood. Each wood you cut gives you some gives you some room with it. Um, but it doesn't last incredibly too long. 
So what I what I would say is build up as high as you can. Whenever you get close to the the end of how much you have, um, go get some more. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna I usually do two doors, and that's gonna be the two doors right there. So we're gonna run out of wood. Um, I usually do it three uh, anywhere from four to five high. Uh, you can do it to your preference. Um, but I usually do no more than five. And some people, um, some people will do more. I just, I think, I think that's good enough. I think it works well. I think I use some of my, uh, my stuff here to make sticks. I didn't mean to. Okay. Uh, some of my tree, I think I use some of my wood to make sticks and I wasn't, wasn't meaning to do that. So, um, this is going to be a 30 minute tutorial. Probably here from here on out is going to be 30 minute tutorials. Okay, so you this, you can if you if your pickaxe break or your uh, your axe breaks, you can actually punch the trees. Um, that's used a lot in uh, in uh, pop culture uh, about punching trees in Minecraft, <laughs> and that's basically what I'm doing right now. I am punching trees. Um, I always hit the last one so that the tree will go away because um, that will disappear. That it'll have the saplings that I can gather. Okay, let's go over here. The other thing you could do, which is what I should have told you about earlier, um, you can put uh, put dirt down to build up steps so that you don't have to jump off here. Okay, let's see. Because um, it can hurt you if it's up high. Actually, I probably meant to do that the other way. Okay, we're gonna get into the territory of nighttime. So at nighttime, uh, spiders. There are spiders. Um, there are skeletons. Uh, skeletons shoot arrows. They can. They are ranged, so they can get you well. Um, okay, you're gonna see me get injured. Ready? And no. Okay, so that, I just got injured for falling. Always put a roof. You can leave a hole there if you want to. I always close it in. Um, we need a door. And I don't... S oh, it's because I I'm, I got to be in a crafting... Okay, crafting table brings up this. Oh, man, and they have changed this so much. It's so crazy. Um, okay. So... Out there is uh, our first... Right there was a spider. There is a, uh, a zombie that you can see. Um, nighttime is just a bad time to be out in this game. Like, if you can avoid it, avoid it. Um, be prepared because uh, things will knock on the door. You will, things will try to come in. I'm going to build a sword. A uh, sword takes two uh, cobblestone, one stick. I have it. I'm going to build one. I'm going to put it in my inventory in my first slot. And get rid of the sapling that's there because it's not important. We're going to go back in here. We are going to build a uh, a furnace, which is right here. Um, and I'm going to show you... Right now, it's dark in the house. Or in our house we built. I'm going to show you how to take care of that. I'm also going to show you how to make food. Um, so what we're going to do is right here, we're going to put that. We're going to click on it. Um, we are going to go here. Remember how I told you to grab this wood earlier? There's a reasoning behind that. Okay, so we're gonna do this. That's opposite. Put the art, put that wood and the uncrafted. Do that. Now what this is gonna do? This is going to make us coal. Well, it's gonna make uh, it's gonna make charcoal. And then we could use this to make torches, which then gives us light. Um, and a lot of uh, we'll still have entities and stuff that'll come in and try to come in but or the mobs but this helps ward off some of them um it's really good to do this why is quick move okay so let's go here place the torches uh right now while that's on you can see i have it's it's more light in the place that's because that's actually lighting it up the, the furnace but what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this here we're gonna put this here then we're gonna put some outside later um Spiders will climb things. Uh, I don't know if you can see that one. There's one in a tree down there. There's one right here. And tomorrow night, I will go out and fight. 
uh, spiders will climb things. So if this one, that spider that was right there, he could come right. He's right here. He might go up on top of our house. That's why you need a roof. The only way to completely stop them from getting up on the roof is to put um, hatches, um, which are right here. You can put these on the side of it. Uh, the wooden trap doors, not hatches, trap doors. That'll usually keep them from going up. But at the same time, uh, not a pi not a lot of people like to put them on their houses because they, they're not a, they're not pleasing aesthetically. Um, but that is a good way to do it. Uh, this is so weird with the crafting table thing. I haven't played this in a while. Like it's 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 blowing my mind. But this is a new update. Okay, so whenever you start to hear that, that means there's zombies around. So we're probably got to fight one tonight. The day and night cycles are pretty quick. They're not they're not slow. I mean they're not slow. I mean, yeah, they're not slow. Um, they're not like a whole day. Um, there are some games that actually do that, by the way. <laughs> That's why I'm referencing it. Um, but this is basically just a quick house. Now, what we're going to want to do is, at some point in time, we are going to want to go try to find at least three wool for sheep. Um, oh, the other thing I'm going to show you is, okay, so raw salmon. If you take wood, like let's say this. Okay, so... Sounds like there's something trying to break in my house. Okay, but anyway. If you take raw wood, I mean, if you take oak planks or any kind of planks and you put them up here, right there, this will cook them. So right now we are cooking some salmon. Can you cook? But I think you can do baked potatoes. We'll do baked potatoes next. And you do have to eat. Um, you will have a little. I'll show you the. I'll show. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Here's some melon seeds, so we can plant those and make melons. Um. There we go. We got a baked potato. Those are maybe. The, maybe that's the horses. Okay. So. Basically, on the screen, you see the hearts. That's your health. You see these little things that look like. I don't know, weird chicken legs, those are your, that's your food level. Um, those will go down eventually. Um, it, wh whenever you have a full food bar, you gain hearts back. If any of the is down, like that, that very first one, if it's just a, a tad down, you won't gain hearts back. So if you hurt yourself, you won't, you won't get your health back is how they do that. And the other thing you can do is you can mine, which we'll show you how to do, which we actually did a little bit. Uh, getting cobblestone is is basically mining. Um, the other thing I'm going to get is I'm going to grab, um, if I can, I'm going to make another pickaxe. I mean, not pickaxe, uh, axe. This time I'm going to make a stone one. So basically what happens is this one has plus three attack damage. And it will die a lot quick. It'll it it dies quick. This one has four. It lasts a tiny bit longer, is what happens. Um, so the higher you get up, um, the higher you go with that. Um, you can do gold and diamond. Um, there's there's some pluses to that. The hit ratios are a little bit higher. Um, but the only bad thing about it is diamond breaks quick. Um, so that's the that's the trade-off basically of having certain uh <sighs> okay i'm being shot at by uh by a skeleton and sometimes they get there he is that's a skeleton right there and he has a bow and he can actually shoot that bow at me like I said, we need a bed. Um, three wool, three wood makes a bed. And we'll get that. I'm going to hide up here for a second. This is just to make sure he doesn't see me. Um, and that is basically how to survive the first night. Um, you can go out on an adventure. We'll go out and fight. And there's, like I said, there's a lot more you can do. Now, whenever it starts to become daylight outside, um, zombies and skeletons 
will actually disappear. Uh, they actually start catching on fire. Um, they can get away. They can get past that by hiding under trees in the shade or going into the water. But if they're out in the open or going into caves, but if they're out in the open, they they'll set on fire. They'll actually catch on fire. We have five minutes. I'm hoping it'll be daylight by then. And I can run outside and adventure around and show you a couple more things. And then we'll go to the next part of this tutorial. But this is uh this is a house. This is simply simple house, basic, nothing nothing grand, nothing fantastic. Um if you if you would like to do if you wanna, you know, that's not what I wanna do. Um if you wanna make the house a little bit different, you can. We can take out like these four here. Um hold up. You wanna go to your to your axe. We could take out this one, this one, and this one, and maybe possibly use a different type of wood to give like a different feel. In uh, in our house, you could change the things. I will show you how to make uh to make windows. We gotta find <laughs> we need to find some sand. Um, that is not a hard task to do sometimes. But that is basically Minecraft. Like, that's the first night. That's what you do. Um, if you want to survive. You could have went out and fought, you know, anything and just went crazy. I'm going to wait until I start to hear things catch on fire. That's what I usually do. All right, let's go out. There, see? They're on fire. They're all going to disappear. Now, uh, zomb I mean, uh, skeletons, before they disappear, they can actually shoot you. And that one right there is stuck in the water. And that is a zombie. Um, the thing you want to watch out for are creepers, which actually were a bug. And I will try to end the game. And I'll try to explain to you what I mean by that. Um, they do something they were not supposed to. They, they weren't even actually at the game. That thing right there, that green thing, it can be out during the day. It'll eventually disappear, but it can be out during the day. It hisses, and as it, whenever it hisses, it explodes. Um, and it makes a hole. It will blow up your house, your whatever. This is rotten flesh. You can, If your dog gets injured, if you get a... I mean, if your wolf gets injured, whenever you get it and make it a pet... Then you can uh, you can feed it and heal it. Um, there is a baby cow, and the the animals do have babies. So if you don't want to kill mothers, probably not the game for you. The only thing I'm worried about is I don't know where that. I need to go over here and get this. I don't know where that creeper went. Okay, right, so we need three wool. Doesn't matter what color it is. At least it didn't. It usually takes about two hits. Um, to kill something with uh, with the sword that I have. Okay, so we've got okay, we got two wool. You can do one, or you can do a double bed by, of course, putting two beds side by side. But we're just gonna get one right now. I the I can tell you right now, this game is better because of the fact that there's more animals on here than there usually is. I usually can't find anything. And I'm usually looking around and suffering because of that. So, um, um, we're going to get some pork chops. Um, let's go. Do you, you need food? Uh, don't kill the baby. The baby will eventually grow. I know it sounds weird. You're killing the mother and the father, but they, you know, they're random NPCs in a game, and you're trying to get food. So, and it's not like they know. They're just random game things. And uh, we'll get some more pork chops while we're at it. We'll head back to the house. I'll show you how to make a bed. I'm going to let him live. Okay. Um, good thing to do is grab bones if you see them. Uh, skeletons drop them whenever they explode or if you kill them. Um, when you grab those, um, you can actually make, you can tame wolves with them. Okay, so basically, there's that. We got that. Okay, so now, let's go in here. You're going to see over here, it has a bed. That's because we have white wool 
Um, apparently, they've changed this now, and you can have different colored bed sheets. So because I have white wool and I haven't done anything differently to it, like dyed it or anything, it's going to be a white bed. Usually, they were they used to be just red, but they actually made it so that you can color the bed sheets. Um, I guess that was a a, a well wanted. Uh, I don't know, thing you could do in the game. You need two, two blocks, and you put it on the second one. So there is my bed. So now I can sleep at night and go past that time. So I don't have to stay hidden in my house at night. I can actually just sleep. It'll skip through the night. So, but for the sake of this, tonight we're probably going to go out and go crazy. Let me go get some more wood. Um, we're gonna we're gonna build a chest. Okay, this is 30 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna every time that I quit this game and start back, I am going to go to the house. This is simpler that way, so you know that you know that I'm starting back at the same place. The other thing that drives me nuts, and you're gonna love it, is I can't stand doors like that. I just I can't stand the doors. Um, the way that they put them on sometimes, whenever you're inside, it it's, it looks awkward. So the other thing to do is if it wasn't nighttime, I would have done this originally. I would have put them actually outside instead of on the inside because that looks better. So, okay, um, this is uh, part two of tutorials for parents. I will come back. We'll, um, we'll try to, I'm, I mean, I got you the basics. We know how to make a bed. Um, we know how to make a furnace. We know how to cook food. We know how to uh, make uh coal um, for torches, which you need coal. You need the coal or uh, I'm trying to think of what the other one is that we just made charcoal and sticks and you can make torches. Uh, the other thing I was going to show you is the best thing to do is with torches, put a couple outside as well. Like put a couple in your door outside just to just to pen it just to make some light uh, penetrate some of that darkness. Um, we also we knew how we know how to make a crafting table so we can craft other stuff. You can only do certain things. If you notice that uh, really quick, whenever I go in here, I can only do certain things crafting wise in my own in my hand. Like I can't do a lot, but if I go over here, there's numerous things that I can do. So I can just go through here and do numerous things, and that is because of the way that. Uh, because of this crafting table. This crafting table allows me to make everything basically that I can craft in a game. Um, and before I couldn't do that. So you could also, uh, for example, uh, really quick, you can make like banish, you can make banners, um, you can make carpets. And what I'll do next tutorial is I'll go through everything that you can actually make, which sounds like a really good idea. So we'll go through that. I'll show you everything that you can actually craft. And we'll continue on and try to go out and go crazy in the night and attack certain uh, in, certain mobs and see how that goes. So okay, uh, I'm, I am I am the Gerg, and uh, I hope you enjoy these tutorials. And I'm not it's not gonna let me out of this, so I'm gonna have to try to get over here somehow. That's the only bad thing about using a controller. Um, whenever you do that, it kind of gets you stuck. So, but it's okay. We got out. So I'll see you for episode, I mean, uh, sorry, part three of Tutorials for Parents, Minecraft Edition.